So I'm sitting in my 1991 Volkswagen Corrado and I want to show something. So I'm going to put the key in the accessory position. And I want to point out that I have the fan, the blower, on the one position. And there's nothing. The two position, and there's nothing going on. The three position, nothing. And then the fourth position, and now it's blowing on high. So the only time the fan works is in position four, which is on high. This is a pretty good indicator that the blower motor resistor, that this guy, has gone bad. So this is basically a re resistor, you can actually see it, that has four pinouts that correlate to the four speeds. Um, and if when this burns out, it'll only work in the high speed. Um, so there it is again. So if your blower motor only works in the four position in a like late 80s, early 90s VW, this might be your guy. People repair this by soldering on a new resistor on the end there, but it's, a, it's actually a cheap enough component if you get like an aftermarket one. Um, that I just bought the replacement. So where is this guy? This is mounted in the heater box, which is basically located right behind the glove box. So to get to this, to replace this part, we are gonna remove the glove box and it should expose it. And I'll show that momentarily. So to access the resistor, um, we have to remove the glove box, which is fairly straightforward. So we're gonna open the glove box. There are two screws that you could feel right in the top. There you go, one, two. And then there's fasteners, screws under this piece of trim. And this piece of trim slides out by picking, I think, straight up on it. Yeah, there it goes. So it goes straight up. As you can see, these tabs sit in these little slots right here, the three, and it exposes those two screws. So now I'm gonna just quickly remove these four screws. So with the four screws removed, we could carefully try to pull the box out. The other thing to be sensitive of is there is a light in the glove box. So this has a wire, you know, basically a wire running to it. So you have to, you can pop this out by sliding it to the side and feeding it through the hole. I just pried on the side of the light. There's actually no bulb in the holder. Let's see how now it falls here. And I can feed that through the hole so that won't hang up on it. This is still a little tricky. Like it just, it, it's loose now, but it doesn't want to just easily come out. You have to be very careful removing it because there are, right, so like the whole hinge assembly is exposed on the outside. And if you kind of manhandle it a little too hard, you might break something on the outside. So like carefully pry, um, try to get like a pry tool on the side and just carefully pull it out. So like I said, didn't want to come up, but I just come in here with like a pry tool or a screwdriver and there it goes. Just pulling, and out comes the the glove box. So what do we see in here? See some wiring. Move this harness, and then right behind that harness. It's hard to see, but that's the resistor. For comparison, here's the new guy. So you can see there's the one screw and the little uh, where the connector plugs in. One thing I want to note. So if you're experiencing this problem, right, and your, own, your fan is only working on the one speed and you don't just want to throw parts at the uh, 
at the car, at the issue, um, my recommendation is remove your glove box, pull out the resistor, and then test it with a multimeter. So you should have continuity across the, uh, the resistor that's mounted to it. All right, so let me show this again. You should have continuity across that guy if you put your two probes on the ends. And then you should actually get different ohm re different resistance readings across the uh, the pins to basically uh, mimic the four speeds on the fan. I'm going to remove that single screw. Get the screws out. So now I'm just gonna pry on the little tab. I put a when I rebuilt this uh, heater box, I put a little silicone around the edge of this. Um, I don't think that's necessary, but, uh, so it may make it a little harder for me to pop out right now. So, got it loose, pull it out, the part looks exactly the same as the other one, right? But, not good. Yeah, you can see the resistor on the end here is seen better days. So, have the part loose, and uh, now I'm gonna unplug the little connector here. With the connector tab depressed, I was able to remove the old resistor. This is, I wanna show, demonstrate really quick what I'm talking about from a testing with a multimeter point of view. Here's the old one, here's the new one. Here's the resistor on the side, which is typically what goes bad in these. I have my multimeter set for continuity, which means when the two probes touch each other, they beep. Okay, so if I take the new one and touch the ends of the resistor, I get, I get the beep, meaning there's continuity within the resistor. When I do it on the new old one, I do not get any sort of continuity, which tells me this resistor is bad. Like I said, people will solder this off, buy a replacement, solder a new one in, um, this was cheap enough that I'm just replacing the whole thing. So next, I'm going to insert this in the exact same location in the dash and plug on the little connector and use the one screw to secure it. So let's insert the replacement. There's the hole, reaching in. There's like a little edge on the top that has to kind of go in first. And that's... It. I'm gonna pop in the one, the one screw. Bam. Screw is snug. So the screw is tight. Now we're just gonna reconnect the connector. If you look at the connector, it only could go on one way because there's these two rounded pins here, and that's really at the bottom here. So we're gonna go on straight. So there again, you can see the new part readily accessible from the opening by removing the glove box. For the test with the key in the on position, we're gonna go to defrost for instance. And now we're gonna go, we should have all four speeds. So two's going, which I didn't have. Three's going higher and four's going really hard. So that's it. Now I'm just gonna pop the glove box back in, which is straightforward, goes right in, four screws. Don't forget about feeding the light through the, the top hole in it. And um, that's how you diagnose and replace your uh, heater blower um, resistor in a late 80s, early 90s uh, Volkswagen, in particular in this 1991 Corrado. So if you found this helpful, like the video, and please subscribe to this channel.